Hey everyone. Um, okay, so I, I, you know, I graduated the, over the past weekend on Saturday, and I'm back at home. I'm trying to unpack this messy room and stuff like that. And I just something came to me that I feel like I really want to talk about, and I want to give some tips and advice to people who are in undergrad about because I feel it's very very important especially if you plan on going to any type of graduate school or professional program professional degree school meaning med school um, law school vet dental whatever school I think it's very important that you listen to this topic because it's about choosing the right major <laughs> all right so um most people will tell you Oh, if you want to go to medical school, you need to major in biology or chemistry because that's what you need to go to medical school. That is the pre-med track. Or most people will tell you, if you want to go to law school, you need to major in history or political science because that is what you need to go to law school or dental school or, or you know, business school, math school, graduate school, whatever school. Uh, I hate when people tell students that I hate it. It's crap. It's total BS. The whole concept of being pre-med or being pre-law or pre-dental or pre-vet or whatever, pre-anything, is BS. It is total crap. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to tell you that right now. It's just total BS. There is no... You will never ever receive any degree you will not show me somebody matter of fact correct me if I'm wrong because I could be wrong I, I could be wrong but anyways no institution is gonna give you a degree that says pre-med studies pre-dental studies pre-law studies pre-veterinary studies because there's no such thing there is no such thing. You know why there's no such thing? Because there's more than one way to get to Rome, ladies and gentlemen. There is more than one way to get to medical school. There is more than one way to get to law school. And I, you know, my personal advice, because I, I wanted to be a doctor and now I'm going to law school, is to do what's best for you. I know plenty of people who have majored in English, who have majored in psychology, who have majored in acting and have gone on to medical school who have gone on to law school which aren't technically pre-med or pre-law they you know it's just total crap my thing is courses like biology physics chemistry those majors are extremely hard and when you major in something like that what it does is for the common person i would call myself the common person it it extremely lowers your GPA, therefore knocking you out the total running of getting where you want to be. Um, what medical schools, I know specifically for a long time I wanted to be a doctor, you guys know that. What medical schools really want to see is did you take the intro to biology, did you take cell biology, did you take chemistry, did you take chem 2, did you take orgo, did you take physics, did you take calculus. If you just take those courses and you score well in them, you can go to medical school. Nobody said you need to go take zoology and botany and all these other, because they're not required. They're not required. They're just additional courses required for a bio or a chem major, but they're not required. And what they ultimately do to many students is lower their GPA. For me, the best route, if I was going to continue to go to medical school, was to take a, a major and keep my GPA high, and then just take the courses that whatever said medical school required. So, I, I, I've seen it. I promise to God I've seen it. You People have majored in something, uh, majored in acting, and went and took physics, went and took calculus, went and took chemistry, and... They're off to medical school. You know why? Because acting kept their GPA high. Then they took the courses they needed. Then you take that exam, which is a whole nother video. Whether it's the MCAT, GMAT, LSAT, GRE, whatever it is. That's a whole nother video. But your GPA needs to be high. And for everybody, it's not. You don't necessarily need to take the pre-professional route to get there. You don't. 
I majored in psychology, I could go either way, honestly, because I have the courses of biology that medical school is born. There's no technically the right major to get wherever you want to go. It's just, is your GPA high? What did you make in those certain courses that they actually look at, which are some of the courses that I named, and, you know, did you score well on that test? Do letters of recommendation reflect that you are a good candidate or a good student, and so on and so forth. And it just kills me that these undergrad institutions that a lot of students that, oh, you need to be pre-whatever if you plan to go here. Don't believe that, yo. Whatever you can do to keep your GPA high is very, 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 very important. Okay? So, if you want to major in English and go to medical school, do it. I know a girl who's done it and she, she, she's on her way, okay? You don't need to be pre-whoever to become what you want to be. Like, that's total crap. You don't need zoology and botany to go to medical school. Matter of fact, you know why you don't need it? Because they're going to teach you what they want you to know when you get there. So they want to see that you can think analytically. You can think critically. You can think logically. That you can use deductive reasoning skills. That's what they want to see. And by taking those certain courses that they actually look at, that's how they find that out. But you don't need all that other crap that's going to lower your GPA. I'm telling you guys from experience. You don't need it. I took botany. Made a C in it. Don't need it. It's sitting there on my transcript. Don't do it. <laughs> like, don't do it. Like, for real, y'all. For real. You don't need it. Don't sweat it. Don't take it. Unless, you know, if you want to go that route, if you want to be that bio major, if you want to be that chem major, you just, you love it. That's you. That's where your heart is. Salute. Yo, do it. Yo, like, clap up for you. Go ahead. I mean, if it's best for you, good. But I'm not talking to you. God bless you. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the people that are struggling with a 2.7 in a bio or chem major or in their history, political science major that are trying to go to law school, dental school, medical school, whatever school, and they believe that's the only way to go, and they're struggling. Meanwhile, your GPA, if your GPA is below a 3.0 and you plan to go to certain, certain schools, it's very, 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 very difficult. And for those of you who have not even started school yet but plan to become a doctor but yet you know that certain sciences and um, things that are required are you know as a pre-professional major are going to be extremely difficult for you there is a different route to go you need to get with the right people and I mean I want to be here to kind of help guide you guys and lead you guys because it was a horrible misconception I was a psych major switched to bio because I thought bio was the only way. It's not the only way. Trust me. Trust me. Like I said, I know a girl who majored in English, a guy who majored in acting. It's, <laughs> it's many, many different ways to roam. Do not get caught up in ill advisement where they say you can only do this, you can only do that. Because let me, let me be completely honest with you. A lot of people major in whatever, in undergrad, whether it's computers, whether it's psych, whether it's English, whether it's advertising, whether it's business, and they wind up doing something totally different in graduate, let alone their real lives. Yo, my best advice that you could ever do while you're in undergrad, while you're in college for the first time, is to major in something. Keep your GPA as high as possible. Take whatever courses that the school that you want to go to in the future, the graduate school, the professional school says that they want to see on your transcript and do it. Do that. Take that route. If you are good at, at, at philosophy, major in philosophy, take whatever courses that your graduate program or professional program says they want to see from their candidates. Keep your GPA high. Take that exam, whether it's the GRE, MCAT, LSAT, whatever it is. Study for that. And I, that's a whole separate video that I'm going to talk about those standardized exams, which I hate to death. But anyways, and, you know, converse with your professors. 
and keep yourself together. Guys, undergrad is a very difficult trying time. It was for me. And I, I just want to give my advice to those who who may feel a little lost. I felt, a, I felt lost the majority of the time. So I just wanted to put that out there about these pre-professional majors. Alright. Bye.